President Cyril Ramaphosa is expected to open the Dr. Pixley Kaisaka Seme Memorial Hospital in Guamashu in Durban today. Now, facilities at the 500-bed hospital include pediatrics, obstetrics and uh, gynecology, as well as uh, psychiatry and mental health and aesthetics as radiology. Um, uh, the patients will also have access to burn units. Now, the hospital is expected to serve more than one and a half million people from Inanda, Ntuzuma, Guamashu and Phoenix. And it is named after Dr. Pixley Kaisaka Seme, who is one of the founders of the ANC. For more on this, uh, we cross now to our reporter, Jade Paulser, who is there. And uh, she's going to give us a sense of what's happening there. And of course, Jade, good morning. It must be quite a happy occasion, given uh, that uh, residents of the townships that we just mentioned are looking forward to quality health care. Very good morning to you, Sakina, and you know, rightfully so. I think in this particular area, like the places that you mentioned, um, Inanda, Kwamashu, and Uzuma, um, they really only had the Kwamashu Clinic and the Gandhi um, Hospital. And this facility is going to enable many communities, especially uh, those who have um, specialized uh, treatment, who need to go for specialized treatment. This facility also has a burn unit, um, a radiology unit. So it's really going to service so many community members in this particular area. But to talk to us more about um, this beautiful state-of-the-art hospital, I am joined by the CEO of the hospital, Mr. Dr. Jimmy Ntetwa. Thank you so much for joining us, Doctor. Um, very, very excited moment. We do know that the hospital has been in operation for two years now, but if you could just talk to us about what it will offer the community of in Inanda, Kwamashu and Ntuzuma. No, thank you uh, for the question. The hospital is classified as a regional hospital, which means that it is specialist-led. Uh, we provide specialized services, regional package of, of care for the community of the pink area, Phoenix, Inanda, Duzuma, and uh, Guamashu. I think we are a referral facility, which means that the patients that comes to us would have been referred or seen primarily at the primary healthcare platform from the various clinics surrounding this hospital, as well as a district hospital like Mahatma Gandhi and Osindi Swain. They then come to us because they need that specialized uh, level of care. Before the Pixley, um, uh, before our hospital, before we uh, came live, those patients would have gone to other hospitals like Eddington, uh, King Edward which is obviously a bit of a distance for the patients. So this is, a, a, I think, a huge relief for the community in that they now have a regional level facility right in their, in their doorstep. And if we talk about some of those specialized um, treatment that they will be receiving, I just mentioned a few, but if you can just go in depth, what kind of departments will this uh, hospital be offering? And if you could talk about that treatment. Yeah, so as a specialized uh, regional level, the package of service includes the core disciplines in clinical medicine, which is your internal medicine, general surgery, uh, radiology, uh, pediatrics, orthopedics, uh, anesthetic department, critical care uh, department, we've got an ICU, high care, we've got a burns unit, um, and the various uh, support services like your pharmacy department, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, audiology, dental services, psychology services. So all of these are classified in the hospital uh, gazette as a regional package of service uh, of care. So we provide all of those services as well as mental health services, psychiatry uh, services. And this comprises of both outpatient services as well as inpatient services. And before I let you go, I think what is beautiful for me is that most of the healthcare workers also reside in the community. Yeah, well, I think the department took a decision uh, in 2020 when we were recruiting that we had a few set of criteria for the professionals, health professionals, because of the scarcity of these cadres, we allowed uh, them, to, we could recruit anywhere in the province or nationally. However, especially the support services, your cleaners, security, kitchen staff, those were very specific in the advert that it must be people that reside in the pink community. So indeed, 
there has been a lot of job creation, etc., from the, uh, the community, the people that reside in the community. But I think a lot would be unpacked later with the, with the president and the MEC. Well, Dr. Jamim Tetwa, thank you so much for talking to us. And we look forward to uh, the president officiating and officially opening up uh, the hospital. It has been in operation now for the past two years, as the CEO has said. And today, really just a very eventful and exciting day as we await uh, the president of the country, uh, Dr. Cyril Ramaphosa, to officially open this hospital. Many of the healthcare workers are very excited. They are all um, going about their day, ensuring that everything is perfect perfect once the president arrives, um, but we will be bringing you all the latest with regards to that um, before the president arrives. It's back to you, Sakina. Well, thank you so much, uh, Jay. Jade Paulser there at uh, the uh, Kwamashu Hospital, a brand new hospital named after um, uh, the ANC founder. And of course, the president will preside over the official opening later today.